Hey friends, it's Mel. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. It is an old rainy morning and I needed a loaf of bread. So I thought I'd just hit the Dollar General, grab me some bread, see what all they had, and bring you along for the ride. So just sit back, relax, grab you a glass of sweet tea or a cup of coffee. Join me as we shop and make a little strawberry chocolate chip banana bread. The Dollar General had a new coastal kind of theme, looks like, going on for the summer. Lots of nautical type stuff, navy blues, and that kind of thing. And then a whole nother set of really pretty floral type stuff. They was also having a little bit of crisis. I saw things that was winter time. I saw some pumpkin spice stuff. And I saw some spring and nautical themes. So there's just a little bit of everything going on at the Dollar General right now in my town. I loved this spoon rest right here and I had it picked up and went back and forth on it a couple times but I didn't end up getting it because I really don't need nothing else sitting around. I also love these soap dispensers. I have one that I got a long time ago and put in my bathroom. It's a little bit different but the thing about these big glass ones, I hardly ever have to refill the soap in it. And here we are back at the fall and the winter. I did think this little green and pink butter dish was so cute. It doesn't really go with my vibes, but it was cute as could be. If you're needing to drink your water, we found this big, ginormous water bottle to keep you on track with your water for the day and I thought these pink canisters were gorgeous. They did have some of their Easter stuff put out, lots of cute little bunnies and decor for the spring and the Easter time and these little paper plates are so cute. I'm a sucker for a cute paper plate or napkin. I love them. And here's all the Easter egg hunting supplies and baskets. And they were really getting this stuff stocked. And the Easter candies. I just took a quick little stroll through there. And I didn't pick up anything. I was very proud of myself there. I was out of bread. That was my main reason for hitting that Dollar General. And I wasn't going to show you my haul. But hey, I'll show you my haul. It is what it is. It's just a little something. The bread was all I needed, and sometimes when I'm at Dollar General, I will grab some things, just, you know, six or eight dollars worth of stuff to put back in my pantry. I got our bread, which we have already made some sandwiches out of. Cream of chicken had been kind of in and out of other stores, so I grabbed three cans of cream of chicken soup. 
I got a two pack of chunk white chicken breast. One of these little canned hams. These things are yummy, but these are things that I like to keep sort of in my long-term prepper pantry. I mean, you wouldn't survive forever on this stuff, but it's good to have in case anything happened. And also, like, I use this all the time and this, and I'm not ashamed to eat these little hams. They're good. I have even cut this up when I didn't have any, like, bacon grease or any other kind of like ham or bacon or anything to put in my pinto beans when I'm cooking them like on top of the stove or in the crock pot I have actually cut up pieces of one of these little canned hams and it cooks up wonderful with pinto beans I got a thing of bow tie pastas and I had been out of these little packs I like to take to work and keep those for lunch so got two of those and I went ahead and took one to work and just left one here to show you. Oh, I got this little basket here. It's a good size. Two dollars. But it didn't work for what I wanted to do. I have the big rolls of garbage bags from Costco. And I thought this would be a good way to keep them. I wanted them to lay like on their side this way and dispense through this hole. They wouldn't fit sideways, so I'm going to try standing them up. I don't know. We'll see what we got. But anyway, let's make some strawberry banana bread. For my banana bread, I'm using my basic recipe that I use all the time. It's actually from Mandy in the Making. I'm sure that you all watch her on YouTube. This is a banana bread that she makes and shared, and I have used it ever since. Now I'm adding the chocolate chips and the strawberries because my friend Angie, her channel is called If the Creek Don't Rise, she makes a banana bread, which is a Starbucks copycat, and she added the chocolate chips and strawberries in this a while back, and it looks so good. And I had these really good, sweet strawberries, so I wanted to make this too. And I'm just using three bananas, and I'm just mashing them up. They were good and ripe and mashed up real easy. And I don't mash mine to death. I do like to leave a little bit of chunkiness that you can see and taste once the bread's baked. Into that you just put in a cup of sugar, one egg, and then a fourth a cup of melted butter. And I'm going to mix all that together and then I'll add in my dry and all the dry ingredients that are needed are just one and a half cups of flour and I use self-rising flour so I don't need to add any salt or baking powder or any of that stuff. I'm just going to get it mixed up real good and you can still see I have a few little banana clumps in there and I'm just using a couple handfuls of chocolate chips. I didn't have any kind of exact measurement here. I just went in with what looked good to me. Go ahead and mix that in real good because when I put my strawberries in, I don't want to squash them up in there. I just want to very gently fold them in. And I just had, you know, whatever I had left out of that carton of strawberries and I cut them up into pretty small pieces. This recipe will make you one loaf of banana bread, and I'm going to spray my loaf pan with some Baker's Joy, which is a nonstick spray that has flour in it. I always like to use that for baking. It turns out wonderful. I'm just going to spread my bread batter down in there a little bit, and I just always like to come back over the top of mine with just a little bit of sugar and a little bit of cinnamon before I bake it. And this is gonna bake for an hour in a 325 degree oven. This bread always turns out so perfectly. You can see the chunks of the strawberries and the chocolate chips. 
and once you cut it you'll see those banana chunks down in there too and the hardest thing is to wait for it to cool and I never can wait for it to cool completely look when you get it out of that pan you can see all those layers of goodness I had to cut a piece and have me a little bit this is so good banana bread in itself is wonderful but this little addition with the chocolate chips I have done before but I never thought about putting the strawberries in it but you can see the bananas in there now this was so delicious. Friends, thanks for being here this week. I'll see you on Sunday night with another What's for Dinner. Until then, I do appreciate you, and I'm sending you love from my kitchen. <music>